okay so in this lecture we will see how we can split column in power bi so basically if you if you look at this uh, uh, diagram here or the picture here i have a sharepoint list and uh, you can see here there is a location column which is uh, having a state and then country is there so imagine when you are creating a report you want to split this two into two columns so that you can know actually which state uh, uh, state in one column and then country in another column probably you can do that now let me show you the sharepoint list first of all so if you will see here uh, there is a list named ts info client and it has couple of columns and this is a title location total projects project value percentage delivered like this if you look at this uh, location column so you can see here bangalore india chennai new york usa like this uh, this is column which contains the state comma then uh, the country name now I want to split and I want to make it to two columns. So for that, what we will do here is, I will uh, I will first open our Power BI desktop so that we can lo you can we can create a report based on that. So we will get the data from the SharePoint list. So in this case, if you'll see here, this is my SharePoint site, and uh, we can take it. So I'll just close it, and I will say get data, and you can see here, click on more and then uh, select the SharePoint online service. So you can see here online service, sorry. And then select SharePoint online list and click on connect. Make sure to copy the site URL. So you can see here, I just copy the site URL, no list URL, just site URL and then click on okay. So now what will happen is, uh, it will show me all the all list and libraries uh, as I said before. And in this case, my list name is TS Info Client List. So this is what is the list. And I will click on uh, Transform Data so that it will open our uh, query, query editor directly. So I'll click on Transform Editor. And if you will look at here, uh, there will be a lot of columns which you might not need it. For example, this uh, file system object type, I don't need it. So I'll click on Remove. You can see here it is removed. So you can uh, uh, do how you want to, uh, but let me show you the column name. So you will actually see here, this is the location column name. So this is what is, uh, we want to split it. Now to, before splitting, let, uh, let uh, just take a copy of this one. So I'll just uh, make a duplicate column. So this is, now this column becomes our duplicate column. So let's just work on this column. Um, now let me just refresh it once you can see here now it will come correctly so you see here why i did refresh because this is the same list i was doing another example so the previous data was there so you can see here now it is so uh, the data is coming correctly so you have the country state name and then country now this one i will select and then you can right click over here and then you can see here a split column is there and from here you can select uh, uh, on which you want to split the column apart from that once this column is selected you can go here and you can see also from this ribbon you can get it so in this case i will let's say i will say okay first of all so you can see various conditions how you want to split by delimit delimiter by number of characters by position uh, by lowercase to uppercase uppercase to lowercase digit non-digit so all these uh, uh, things are there or this um, which you can use to split the column but in this case we have uh, we are we are uh, uh, we can see it I have a comma over here so I'll click on by delimiter and then it is saying uh, you know select the delimiter in our case it is comma you will see most of the time it will be a comma or semicolon or a, a space or a hyphen like this you will get and then split at uh, left most delimiter, right most delimiter and each occurrence of this delimiter. So here we need to understand what does this mean is um, you how let's say you have multiple comma there. So how you want to do that? I want to make here uh, make sure that we will do each occurrence. So how many uh, times comma is there? So it will take uh, it will do that. And if you go to the advanced option, it is saying whether you want to split into columns or you want to split into rows. And in this case, we have uh, into the columns and uh, we will set two columns and then click on OK. So once you do that, you can see here now 
you have a Bangalore and the location uh, copy too. So you can just right click and rename it. For example, the first one I will uh, uh, say state and the second one I will just rename it and I will say country. So this is how you can see here we split it and then we can see it. Now let's say we have one more uh, um, over there. So for example, I, if I will go back here, I will just quick edit it and we will add the uh, pin number as well. So I will say 5601103, uh, probably this one I will say 5612234 like this. And this one I'll put like this. For example, we put like this and then click on exit uh, call so that now we can see these things. Now if I'll go back to my query, first of all, uh, let's come back here. You can see uh, the location column still like this because we don't have the updated data. So we can refresh it, click on this refresh button and uh, then say refresh all. So once you click on the refresh all, now you can see the data came here. Okay, but the columns are same like this because it will not change. Now what we'll do is, so I will go to the location column I'll create a duplicate column again now you can see here we have the duplicate column on this now I will split it again delimiter and uh, each occurrence and then if you'll see here now it will auto populate uh, 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 three columns that we will do here uh, based on the comma it will auto populate uh, but you can change it you if you want you can change it now click on ok so the moment you click on ok now you can see here uh, there is uh, uh, Bangalore, India uh, like this and then the pin number also it is coming. You can see here some null values are there. You can just select this column. Uh, you can just right click and you can say let's say replace. I want to replace null values with uh, probably zero or something. Uh, then click on OK. So you can see here now it is replaced. So this way actually you can uh, um, you can uh, replace also and you can merge it you can uh, sorry you can split to multiple columns sometimes what happened is if you want to merge the columns so you can do that as well um, for example let's say you want to merge uh, these two columns a uh, uh, india and uh, let's say i want the pin number like this so you can click over here and then you can see merge columns is coming click on merge column and then it is saying the separator that you want to use so for example um, I will say put one uh, space and then I will say let's say country and then uh, pin code something like that and uh, I will click on OK so the moment I will say you can see here now it is coming like this you can also put empty on this so you can do that way but now if you will see here now uh, this column or this one is uh, it is taking uh, or it is merging these two columns uh, our previous column and then the pin so both these things it is merging and it is showing it to one column so this is how we can actually split columns or we can merge column so this is how we can do using the power query editor so i'll click on save and close and then you can see here it will be now it will be uh, the report will be saved so you can see here if you now go to the table uh, you can have this thing so your columns will appear over here the last one you can see here you can rename it and you can use as ever how you want to use it so i'll put this report also uh, so that you can check it when you will, you will do the practice.